Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family, Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar, the altar of prophetic interventions. Wake up to this altar daily to do your quiet time before you do anything else. Wherever you are, take the phone and listen to Turning Point Audio. Engage in whatever prophetic action we may be led to take for the day. I speak as I receive from God. Yesterday, for instance, I said, put an object on the floor, walk across it, come back again, walk across it, come back again, walk across it, and each time you walk across it, declare what you are walking over. I walk over sickness, I walk over uh, confusion, I walk over indebtedness, and so on. It may not make sense, but when you do it, miraculous powers follow. After the audio, read the prayer booklet, also authored by me. Use the two together daily. You shall completely be transformed spiritually, materially, maritally, financially, and in all areas of life. Subscribe for the prayer booklet with a token. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so now. Welcome also to Sunday, the 28th day in July 2024. This shall not just be an ordinary Sunday. It shall be a special Sunday with God's glory, glorious sunshine rising on you and your family. As usual, please open your hand and heart to receive. Be responding with amen. I receive it. Because receive the quickening spirit of the power of God. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 he says, and ye has he quickened when you were dead in trespasses and sins. Wow, you has he quickened. I prophesy, may any dead part of you or less functional part of you be quickened now in Jesus' name. Receive life, receive power. Kindly lay, lay hand or touch where you may be having pain in your body now. Yes, touch the place and let me pray. I prophesy, receive life. Receive God's healing virtue on that place now. Pain and aches, arrows of sickness and disease, by whatever name, leave your victim now in Jesus' name. Leave your victim now in Jesus' name. Say amen. Yes, that's right. A woman gave a testimony on the prayer mountain service last Thursday. She was diagnosed for, of breast cancer that had gone malignant. Doctors scheduled her for surgery. The breast was to be removed surgically, and they would start chemotherapy, a chemotherapy treatment for 11 sessions. The breast was already aching her terribly. Then she heard of the prayer mountain. She came to the prayer mountain at Goshen Land, Ikeja. Heard my message that day, received the ministration. Anointed mantle was given her for praying and doing miracle free after the service. And when people had left, the Spirit of God said to her, move close to the altar, kneel down, and let your breast, that breast, touch the altar and also touch the pulpit. She hesitated initially, but obeyed God eventually. And according to her, as soon as she laid the breast on the altar and touched the pulpit, a, an electric wave, something that looked like an electric wave, shot through her entire body. She vibrated vigorously. First thing she noticed, the biting pain ceased immediately. She placed the anointed mantle in her bra. Her healing was effected. She went back to the doctor for tests and re-examination. No trace of cancer anymore. Go to our Facebook and YouTube at the Real Family Manual and look at watch last Thursday prayer service. I think it was in, it was in the first service. Do so, all my listeners, join us real life or online for prayer mountain service every Thursday, 7 to 9 a.m. and 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. second service, Nigeria time. You can watch live, also watch later, but don't miss any of the editions of prayer mountain service on Thursday anymore. Search for it on the Real Family Emmanuel on our Facebook or YouTube. Connect, watch live or watch later. But don't miss it again. Today's uh, celebrant, 
June 28, receive your prophetic prayers. I bless your life. You are lifted. Oh, you are divinely endowed. You will live long and live well in Jesus' name. Listeners, this is the seventh day in a week of personal intentional prayers. From tomorrow, we will start a week of healing prayers. Good enough. I gave you the testimony of the cancer, the woman that was healed of cancer today. Believe God for your own healing. Healing prayers will start tomorrow. But let's do the last of personal intentional prayers. We are engaging scriptural content for prayers. Oh, pray scripturally. The, uh, the first prayer today is from Psalm 37 verse 23. It reads, the steps of a good man and also a good woman are ordered by God and God delights in his or her ways. Put one of your legs forward or hold your leg with a hand, whichever one is okay for you. And let's pray. Say, O oh Lord, order my step and guide my path aright. Say, my legs, hear the voice of God. Do not take me to the path of trouble. Do not take me to the way of crisis. I shall not walk into waiting death. I shall not walk into kidnappers' den. Neither will I walk into arm robber zone. My leg, you will not take me to where richer killers and bandits and bloodsuckers are waiting for their victims. I shall not walk into spray bullets, stray bullets, no accident or any misfortune. My aircraft, you will not crash. My vehicle, you will not be involved in accident. I shall not I run into crisis. I will go out in peace and return in joy with testimonies. Every day the rest of my life, say amen. Yes, so shall it be. You are declared safe, protected, and defended. Say another amen. Now, if you have your anointing oil there, please anoint your feet or pour the blessed water into a bowl or a bucket and wash your feet. They are all prophetic actions. They will work wonders in your life. Next, we are praying with Psalm 81 verse 10. It says, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will feel it. Wow! Anoint your tongue in making this declaration. Or just touch your tongue with your index finger once and remove it. Then make these following declarations loud and clear. Say, my mouth, receive God's power. My tongue, be empowered now. I speak over my body, receive divine health. My journeys, programs and projects, you shall run well. I prophesy to my spiritual life, my physical life, my mental life, my financial life, my family life also. Hear the word of God. Perform to fulfill my purpose. Nothing shall go wrong with me anymore. David put a stone in the sling to keep Goliath. My tongue is the sling. My God's word in my mouth is the stone. I release the stone of God's word and power against all forces, all powers that represent Goliath in my life. Goliath, come down. Goliath, die in shame in Jesus' name. Next, we are praying with Haggai chapter 2 verse 9. And it reads... The glory of the latter house shall be greater and mightier than the former. Say this prayer like this. Say, O oh Lord, I pray with intensity. My tongue receive God's power. My yesterday is gone. My future is bright. My tomorrow is great. Whatever was wrong with me in my past, turn around for my new testimonies now. God's glory on me shall change my story for good. I will receive a major turnaround that will turn my past to my new testimonies in Jesus' name. Say amen. Let's take one more. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17. Cry yet, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, My cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad. This is the prayer. Pray and say, In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive God's prosperity and power to spread the gospel abroad. Prosperity in my life, prosperity in my marriage, prosperity in my assignment, all around prosperity. I receive you now. I believe it. I declare it. 
I receive it in Jesus' name. Say amen. I receive it. Yes, he will prosper. This is how to pray for God to answer. You use the word of God to pray to God. God cannot deny his word. There are these prayer points in every Bible verse. Please engage it and do so regularly daily. Please we broadcast it to all on your contact. Let them also pray this prayer and see the wonders of God. Do so daily. Join us on ground or online today for the grand finale in marking my birthday this year. It's going to be a single service starting by 8 a.m. Venue is Dominion City, Adulogu bus stop, along the World of Dojo, Express Road, Ibadan. For all my listeners, TPGF members and listeners in and around Ibadan, be there. It's going to be a prophetic service. Anointed mantle will be given out free for praying and doing miracle. The service shall be live streamed to all over the world. So connect online via our Facebook and YouTube at the Real Femi Emmanuel. Remember, today's service is just one single service from 8 a.m. Nigeria time. Month is ending already. So if you are a monthly title, personal and corporate titan, battle seed, partnership commitment seed, and the seed of 777, we are sowing this month, and then connection to grace seed, 669, 69,000 naira, 6,900 naira, 6969, as God may lay in your heart, TPJ members and listeners in other parts of the world, use your local currency via our PayPal or even the local bank account. If you want us to send the commission's account to you, send a chat message or please send me the commission's account to plus 034 809 789 4000. That line only. Place your two hands on your chest and receive this last stream of prayers. May the Lord bless your life, cover you with his presence, carry you to where your blessings are waiting. No arrow of the enemy will come near you. You will end this month where we will start the new month great. The power and the favor of God on my life and on this commission, we also be finding manifestations in everything that connects to you. What God cannot do does not exist, for God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. TPGF, answer, truly blessed. Bye.